The latest findings by DOJ Inspector General Michael Horowitz are raising concerns that never Trump Republicans could add to suspected political biases in the beginning of the Russia hoax. One America's Christian Rose looks into the matter. It was clear that the dossier was a sham. So what happens? What happens at that point? The Horowitz probe reveals questionable actions by part of the Republican Party establishment, loosely known as the Never Trump Movement. The Justice IG report, released earlier this month, found the late Senator John McCain gave the Obama-era FBI five pieces of the Steele dossier after the Bureau dropped Chris Steele as its source. This may suggest even the FBI deemed the former British spy as unreliable, while McCain did not, possibly due to his anti-Trump bias. John McCain received the, uh, a fake and phony dossier. Do you hear about the dossier? It was paid for by crooked Hillary Clinton, right? And John McCain got it. He got it. And what did he do? He didn't call me. He turned it over to the FBI, hoping to put me in jeopardy. The IG report finds McCain gave then-FBI Director James Comey parts of the Steele dossier on December the 9th, 2016, just over a month after the election. However, the Bureau severed its ties with Steele in the autumn of 2016, allegedly because he was talking to the media. Meanwhile, McCain's handling of the dossier raised questions because it painted President-elect Trump in an unfavorable light, not to mention its derogatory portrayal of Russia, which could, in other circumstances, cause a diplomatic scandal with a nuclear power. And we were in China, Japan, Russia, Germany, France, England, Turkey, all over the world. Tens of thousands of miles. So we talk about international relations. We talk about promise, the promise of America because we're both cockeyed optimists. Additionally, Horowitz found the FBI did not previously have the pieces of the dossier provided by McCain. This suggests the late senator may have served as an essential connection in the scheme originating from the DNC and Clinton campaign efforts to take down President Trump. This, the Justice IG points out, adds to the grievous procedural violations at the Obama FBI at the early stages of the Russia hoax. Our review identified significant concerns with how certain aspects of the investigation were conducted and supervised. It remains unclear if the FBI knew that information given by McCain was actually coming from Steele. It is also unknown if McCain was aware the Bureau terminated Steele as its source prior to his most significant anti-Trump endeavor. For his part, McCain confessed in his book released last year he felt obligated to pass the dossier on to the FBI and stressed he would do it again. Uh, are you aware of anything that would lead you to believe that information exists that could uh, coerce members of the administration or blackmail the administration? That's not a question I can answer. The Justice Department is now working to determine if alleged political biases within the Washington establishment played a role in launching the Russia hoax. Christian Rose, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.